Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I have the pleasure of showing you guys this beautiful and luxurious uh, King Air. This is the most luxurious coach in the new Mar coach lineup. This is a 2020 stock number 5N191146. And I've got to start off by telling you that I dressed up for this occasion. The King Air is a really luxurious coach and I wanted to make sure and dress up for, to show off the beauty of this coach, okay? Uh, those of you that know me haven't seen me in a tie probably in 10 years, if that. So I'm really happy to be able to show that off for you today. Uh, I also want to say that last night I was up for a little while thinking of the specs and the King Air and what I wanted to show off. Um, went to bed still not sure what I was going to do. This morning when I was putting out the trash, um, I walked to the garage and I saw a couple items in there that brought back some memories for me and it kind of led me in a certain direction. So I saw a small set of golf clubs that used to belong to my daughter, uh, reminded me of when she was little and the fun things we used to do and how times fly. So I want you to, as we walk through this coach, I want you to remember that you're buying this coach or you have a coach to make memories and that's the important part. Uh, so as we walk through it, just kind of think to yourself of how you can make some new memories in this beautiful coach. As we walk around the side here, I'm going to shut the door so you can see right up front. It's got a grab bar, doorbell, and keypad. It also has a doorbell cam, which we will demonstrate later on. It's got hydraulic steps. They do have pressure sensors uh, to keep them from being damaged if you park close to a curb uh, or if you're uneven terrain. As we walk around here, there is a fuel door there so you can add your fuel. This coach has 200 gallons of fuel capacity. You can fuel from either side. So 200 gallons of fuel, that's a lot of fuel. Uh, most coaches are going to have 100 to 150. This King Air does have 200. As you can see, real spacious uh, compartments. It's push button, so I'll show you on this door here. So it has a push button open. This compartment has a rollout drawer, a power tray which you can access from either side. And then it also has a shelf up top here. Again, a lot of storage. Again, think about what you could put in this to make some memories down the road. Whether it's camping gear, fishing poles, golf clubs, whatever the case may be. Again, you've got another pass through. And here you're gonna see They've got some additional tiles for the floor. Here's all your accessories for your central vac, which I'll show here shortly. All your direct TV components uh, operation up there. This is for your uh, outdoor refrigerator. That's where that plugs in. And again, you don't have to slam these doors like on some of the other coaches. All right, so now Let's talk about some more memories. You go fishing, you catch a bunch of fish. Uh, plenty of space here to put those in. This is a refrigerator-freezer combo. Yep, refrigerator-freezer combo. As you can see, plenty of room to open it. And then here's your central vac. Oh, and actually, Cherish, if, you'll, if you don't mind showing back here, there's the Oasis unit. So this central vac, uh, one of the cool things about it, it's got Bluetooth. So the handle has Bluetooth, so you can actually use it without it being connected. Here's another compartment with some, you know, you can put tools or you can put just some miscellaneous items there. Here's where all your batteries are. This coach actually has 16 batteries, house batteries, with two 3,000 watt inverters. Uh, the second inverter basically is gonna run your third air conditioning or your middle air conditioning unit. 
Both of the inverters will charge your batteries. See, what we're walking back here, you can see it's got the uh, steerable tag axle with the 10 degree cut. Alcoa 22 and a half inch wheels. And then here is your DEF tank. It's a 15 gallon tank. And then back in here, as you can see, it's got some suspension uh, controls there. That is gonna be for your air suspension. If something was to happen and you lost the air in your system and you were getting towed, for example, uh, the tow company could put air in there, raise your suspension and get you towed. Okay, and then here's your two house batteries with your battery disconnects. And that actually opens the rear compartment here. It's air actuated. And now you can see the 15 liter Cummins, which is a 605 horsepower engine on this, on this Spartan chassis. It's on the K3 chassis. So you can see everything's really easy to access. You have your oil, your transmission levels. You can check everything out from right here. To lower it, you just hit the lever again. Now back here, again, this is a 605 horsepower Cummins. So it's got a 20,000 pound rating on the hitch. You've got your Voyager cam hook up here. If you got a big stacker truck behind you and you've got cameras in it, you can use that to plug in. Here's your seven pin connector and then your air brakes go connected there if your trailer has got air brakes. Again, a beautiful design. You can see back here the backup camera. The King Air has 360 view, which I'll show you when we're inside the coach. If we walk around, you'll see the side radiator, which gives you maximum cooling for that big engine. Here's another deaf fill. So you, yeah, you can fill from 15 gallons. Here's a small storage compartment. Your batteries are in here, the other side of your batteries. Again, it's got uh, 16 batteries and two 3000 watt inverters. Here's your wet bay. And let me open it up so you can get a good shot there. So that's your mano block system there. Uh, that allows you to cut water off to a particular part of the coach, uh, whether it's the kitchen, the washer. Uh, it uh, comes in real handy if you have a leak and you don't want to turn off the water to the whole coach. And there's your, your drain valve, sorry. Here's your hot low point, your cold low point. Right now, this is in the winterized position, which is down. It's got a full water uh, house filtration system. Um, here's an outdoor water tap if you want to hook up a to it and use the water that you have in the coach. 50 foot uh, water hose on a power cord reel. And here's all your this is your SantaCon system, um, which basically is your macerator um, for the coach. You don't have to use it. If, it, if, it uh, if it's having issues, it's not working properly, you can just open the valve, hook up, and just drain it manually like you would on any other coach. Outdoor shower, in case you need to rinse off. Again, if you're at the lake making some memories, you want to take all the sand and dirt off of you before you get in this beautiful coach, perfect place to do that. See. Here's your 50 amp cord. It's a 50, 50 foot cord. Here's your two 3000 watt inverters. And if you can look back there, there's a huge surge protector to protect the coach. So you can see the cord is on a power reel as well. Um, you can plug in a 30 amp 
cord here for your stacker trailer and just run it to your trailer. And here's the other tray. And again, I'm not gonna pull it out of the way here, but you can see plenty of storage. I have to tell you, it's really nice not having to slam the doors like you do on some of the other coaches. Here's your other tray. Now, one cool thing about Newmar, they make all their, all their compartment doors, they make those all in-house. Here's another really cool feature. You get a, a power washer uh, so you can clean your coach uh, wherever you park. Getting it dirty, you can take out all your attachments. You can just go outside and power wash it. There's a little window washer back there. It also has an ultraviolet water filtration system right up here, those two blue um, filters. That's for your kitchen. All right, here we go. This is how we're gonna pull out the generator. It's on a hydraulic slide. And uh, Cherish, if you don't mind. So these fuses here, these are going to be your Newmar fuses, and these are going to be your Spartan fuses. They do give you some spare fuses there as well. Something burns out, the little red light will turn on so you know which one is burnt. Now, right here, these two horns right here, that's a good way to make some memories. You can wake up the neighbors at about four or five in the morning when you get up. I guarantee uh, you'll have something to talk about. Here's your 12.5 uh, Cummins owning generator. Again, 12.5, it's got plenty of power to run everything on the coach. That along with the two 3000 watt inverters uh, will keep it running. You can actually run your ACs while you're driving down the road without having to have your gen on. Here's your uh, wiper fluid. Here's a quick connect for your air hose. And then that little filter right here is actually an oil filter for your Oasis system. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull in the slide. Yeah, we can go back around and check that out. So you can see I've got the awnings out. It's got two full awnings. So the whole coach is basically covered in shade here, which is perfect for when you want to watch TV outside. It's got all the TVs in the King Air are Samsung. Uh, they all have Bose sound bars. The one on the main room I'll show you is Bluetooth compatible. Here's your docking lights that you can turn on. And Cherish, if you want to walk up first, if you don't mind. Yeah. So here's your doorbell cam. That way you know who's at the door, you know whether or not you want to open it. All right, now that we're inside, I'm going to start the generator so we can get the ACs on again. As you can see, here's the uh, doorbell cam here, and there's also one in the bedroom back here on this display unit right here, okay? And it'll stay on. That way, if you're in the bedroom, again, you don't have to go up to the front to see who's here. You just check out your monitor. Again, there's another Bose sound bar up top. And then we'll go back to the front here, and I can kind of walk you from the beginning of the coach. You can tell just I've got the day shades down. Uh, gives you perfect lighting. Uh, I had my laptop set up in here. I've been working in here all morning. Uh, it's perfect for working. Uh, on the road or, you know, just if you want to surf the net, whatever you want to do. And 
And I'm just going to start with these two compartments here. Let me get out of your way. So here's going to be your Wi-Fi Ranger. Uh, basically, this King Air runs on its own internal Wi-Fi wi -Fi system. Uh, then it can tap into whatever's nearby, uh, but it's on its own network. Which makes it easy. On this side here, as you can see, you've got your cameras here. Uh, you can access your navigation from here. So your co-pilot can actually do a lot of things while sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, these are really wide. Um, again, when you have these seats turned around, it's got a massage on these seats. So when we turn the seats around to have a living area, if you have your grandkiddos with you or your baby, this chair is wide enough that they can sit with you and be comfortable. And let's see here. Let's move on to, there's so much in here that I don't want to miss anything. Um, so actually, let's start with the cockpit up here, Cherish, if you don't mind. I'm going to fire it up. So you can see the steering wheel just straightened out. It's part of the comfort drive system. It's got three preset um, settings for your drivers. You can adjust your steering, your foot pedals. That's all behind the steering wheel? Yep, it's all right here. There's three little dials here. You just push on those, it'll adjust your foot pedals. And again, it's got three settings here, and I'm gonna lift this up so you can see. It's got three different memory settings. So you can set one for, for you, one for your co-pilot, and then one to raise it up so that when you get out, it makes it really easy. Um, while I'm sitting in here, we'll show the, uh, this is your Allison transmission. It's got an Allison 4000 six-speed automatic. Here's your HWH um, hydraulic leveling system. And then you also have air leveling system on here. You can also adjust your air ride height while you're, um, if you have a preferred height. Here's your tag axle dump. It's got an auto, a manual, and a disable. Typically, um, I like to leave it in auto. Uh, basically, it comes into play when you're backing up. It'll raise that tag axle just a hair, so it makes it easier to, to go in reverse and park. Here's your engine brake on and off. It's got three stage, uh, low, medium, and high engine brake, which is great when you're coming down the mountain, especially if you've got a 20,000 pound stacker trailer behind you or a big horse trailer. Um, that makes it really easy to, to slow you down when you're coming down the pass. On this side, you've got your lights. You've got your dim, um, your dome light. So this would be what you flash if your if trucker lets you, somebody lets you cut in, this is how you tell them thank you. And that's your auto uh, headlights. So if you have the brights on, this will actually, if it senses a car coming, it'll take off your brights for you. That way you're not getting uh, people waving at you with that one middle finger they like to wave. <laughs> uh, here's your traction control override, your tow window right here, your air horn. Again, that's how you wake up your neighbors. And then this has a really cool feature where if the batteries are running low, you can actually draw from either your chassis batteries or your house batteries. Um, so if something got left on, you can, you can run off the chassis battery to start your generator, to start the coach, or you can run the opposite and run off of those 16 house batteries. You can see up here, we have a charging pad. There's also one on the passenger side. And let me, Pull this down here, just to show something else. This right here, so this is your heated mirrors, and then your adjustment for your mirrors. And then this right here is actually your trailer brake controller. So if you've got a trailer hooked up, this would be uh, your trailer brake controller. You would push on it to um, basically engage the brakes. And then on the digital display here, you can see we have fuel, we have engine temp, oil pressure, and then we have our primary and secondary air gauges and our DEF uh, level tank, which is nice to have. The DEF is really easy. Uh, it's right there all the time, so you know if you're running low. Uh, if you get let it go too low, it will put you in the limp mode to protect the engine, so you don't want to let it get too far down or it'll 
it'll slow you down when you're driving. Uh, while I'm driving here, I'm going to turn the steering wheel to show the comfort drive. Um, again, you let the steering wheel go and it'll automatically get you back to center. I'm going to show you on this menu right here because this is a really cool feature. Um, you can go up to your settings, go to comfort drive, and that right there is where you adjust how much help you want from the comfort drive system basically. So the, the, the higher up the number the more assistance it's going to give you. Um, so it's going to be, it's a computerized system so it's always um, kind of checking out what's happening on the road with your steering, with how you're holding the steering wheel. Uh, if you're fighting a crosswind, uh, the higher that number the more assistance you're going to get from your comfort drive system. Again, there's lots of different settings. Um, I want to kind of go through the display right here so you can see this 360 view. So here's your camera system and it'll show you on this side all the different angles. So that one, that's showing us three different and then here is your entry cam and right here you can see everything around us. If you go back to your menu, uh, this has mobile eye. So this has a um, collision mitigation uh, system and on here you can actually go to set how annoying you want it to be or, or not. Uh, so you can set the sensitivity, you can set the system sound so if you want it to beep. A lot of people say they don't like it beeping at them all the time. Obviously I think it means you're doing something and it's trying to, <laughs> it's trying to help you out. But you can adjust uh, the sensitivity, the noise level, um, all of that fun stuff. Here's a speed limit warning so it can tell you how, f how much over the speed limit you're going. Uh, just has a ton of different options that you can go there. And we can go to our Ram McNally navigation. Which again, to, uh, the Ram McNally is the best, in my opinion, navigation system out there on the market. And back to your cameras and then you can do your XM radio, Bluetooth, it's got a ton of different options here. And you can go back to your radio. Alright, so right here, I want to show this, this is kind of a cool feature I think. I don't know that I would ever use it. Um, so this actually turns off your heating and cooling controls on the passenger side. Uh, so if you want to make your wife mad or your passenger mad and you don't want them controlling the thermostat and the controls on that side, you just turn that off and they lose power over there. Again, I probably wouldn't use it. Uh, let's see here. So on these controls, you're going to have your front fan, your overhand, overhead fans, your docking lights that I talked about, your courtesy lights, and then here's your gen on and off, and then your, your entry door locks. You have your visors for the front, your shade, and then your visor for the, for the passenger side. All right, I'm gonna shut this off. Come back around here. Again, both of these have massage on this unit. Um, very, very comfortable seats. I mean, they're so comfortable, you have to be careful you don't fall asleep, I think. That's how comfortable they are. Um, if you wanna look up here, I can show you. So here are your awning controls. Here's your security sensor. So this does come with the security system. It's got motion detectors on the inside. That sets them on, and then that turns them off. Uh, this is going to be for your in-motion satellite system. And then you have your driver security lights and passenger ones. Those are outside. I have those turned on. Uh, those are your scare lights, just so people see a lot of light and they tend to stay away from you while you're camping. Here's your privacy uh, drapes. Uh, side window awning and your passenger window awning and then here's your slide outs your exterior LED lights your exterior entry step on and off so that uh, I have it off right now so when we open the door the steps aren't coming in and, and retracting all the time and then here's your Wi-Fi router uh, let's see let's do actually I'm going to show you on the back side there oh up there in the very back far right corner, there's an important uh, reset switch. That is your HWH master reset switch. 
So if something goes, up, goes wrong with your hydraulic system, uh, that switch, you hold it for five seconds and it resets the whole system. So that's important to know where that's at. All right, um, again, here we go, Villa Furniture. So this has the Villa uh, theater seating, as you can see, lit up cup holders. You can change the colors. Uh, controls to everything right at your fingertips. So if I want to pull up the Televator, this has a 43 inch um, TV up front, a 50 inch Televator. 43 inch on the exterior entertainment and on the bedroom. Now these th this theater seating is one of my favorites. It actually has a USB port right here so you can plug in your, your phone or whatever you want to plug in here. Again, really comfortable. And there's the TV. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Turn the volume down. Right now I have it just on live air TV. There's a few channels that I can pick up without having anything else on, which is really nice. Again, if you're making memories, to me, this, you don't have to have a million dollar coach, which this is, but uh, if you can have one, what better way of making some memories, right? Um, I, as I was talking about earlier when I was walking through the garage, I saw our little tent that we have and it reminded me when my wife and I were first dating, we had a little two-man tent we'd take out to the lake. We'd go out for the weekend with just a tent and a cooler and uh, we'd have a blast out there. So again, this would be another way of doing that. I can see myself having a lot of fun in one of these and making a ton of uh, lasting memories. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the televator. You can also access all the shades from here. Today's a little overcast, so I don't know that we need the shades anymore. So as you can see, they're just push button. Really easy. Um, three central, three air conditioners on the top. Again, the middle one is ran primarily by that second inverter that we have. Um, but it keeps the coach, for a 45 foot coach, it keeps it really cool um, and to temperatures, whatever you feel that you like the best, right? Whatever's comfortable for you, I'd say. Um, right here's a really cool feature that I wanna talk about. This has some courtesy lights on the bottom and this is how you would turn those on. And if, it's a motion sensor. Yeah, and if you wanna kinda of just chime in down there when I turn this on, so there's the courtesy lights. Uh, at night while you're camping out, if all the lights are off and you leave the motion sensors, it's got one there, one in the bedroom. If I get up in the middle of the night and I'm trying to go to the refrigerator, that motion sensor will turn on the courtesy light so I'm not having to wake everybody up while I'm walking around trying to get my midnight snack. Um, let's see, the booth dinette in this, again, really comfortable. Uh, you could work either here or on the recliner. I really like the theater seating for working on the laptop. Uh, this does pull out um, and you can sit two additional chairs out here. So plenty of room for the family. Um, what I really like here is kind of, you don't even know it has a dishwasher because the, everything is kind of covered in this beautiful uh, wood facing here. Yeah, and this is the Cashmere Rift Oak. Self-closing drawers, I mean, they really, uh, they really have done themselves on this King Air. It's got everything you would want. It does have cutting board, uh, and it's got a wolf induction cooktop. I like it because it's, it's, it's really shallow, right? It's not very deep, so you can put bigger pans on here. There's lots of room. It doesn't get, no, the handles aren't gonna be hitting anywhere. You got lots of room. You also have these cool little hidden down GFCI outlets. You've got two of them up here, one on each corner. And look at that kitchen window, it's beautiful. So again, if you're lakeside, uh, you're cooking, you've got the, the beautiful view out there. You can't ask for anything more. 
Here is the stainless steel farm style sink. It's, it's huge, it's really deep, double sink. It's got filtered water, your delta faucet. Yeah, it gives you a ton of counter space. Um, you got a lot, again, if you're not using the, the stove, um, you can definitely um, cover it up and you got a lot more counter space. Solid surface counter space. Look at the backsplash, it's beautiful. You've got your induction uh, microwave, your induction cooktop, and then you have your convection oven up here. And let's see, walking back to the kitchen here, we'll show the refrigerator. So again, the refrigerator also has a beautiful cashmere ripped oak front. 19.7 cubic feet. So plenty of, of space here. It's got your ice maker, your water. And then for pantry, you've got a ton of pantry space here. And then now to the half bath here in the, in the middle of the coach. As you can see the, the cabinets, everything is just, uh, it's gorgeous. You got your medicine cabinet. I'll pop in here and open this up for you. There's your breakers. You wanna And as usual, you have the, the bathroom door that opens up so that when the slides are in, you got plenty of room. It's kind of a cool feature there. And then you go into the master bedroom. Now you do got to make sure that you duck under this. I've caught myself on that a couple of times. Here's the doorbell camera again. Here's your uh, window awning for this side, and then there's another one for the other one. All the windows on this coach have window awnings, so if the sun is it's hitting from a certain angle, you can always cover it up with the awning. Um, and then back to your main control here. So you can, you can check your climate, adjust your climate. You can do your generator set. Um, Bill Habercorn did a really good video on the silver leaf. Uh, system, so I would encourage you to to check that out. Maybe we can do a link to it afterwards because uh, I think that's a really good. He did a great job on that. Uh, this also has a televator. There we go. And again, a beautiful big window there. It's huge. Plenty of room to store your clothes. Look at that. Those are really deep as well. And you'll have the same thing on this side. Here's your Sony player there for your rear TV. And I know when, uh, so when, when Mark Love did the video yesterday, he did one on the Essex. He kept talking about when you know the difference, uh, which is the Newmar slogan. Um, again, I think there's a lot to be said about that. Um, when you actually compare the Newmar product with any other product and you really start digging into them and you get to know the difference, um, it, makes, it, it makes picking a coach really easy in my opinion. Um, you know, you can go with the Cadillac or you can go with the Chevy. And uh, in my opinion, Newmar is the Cadillac of the 
coaches, uh, and it's the way I would go. Um, here is on the side of the bed here, the king bed, and it does have uh, a sleep number mattress, king size mattress with dual controls and charging stations on both sides. And you also have outlets on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine um, or you want to set something up on that side and plug it in, it's perfect. Under here is your awning, your slide, to your slide on your uh, window awning. Sorry, right there. And then here's another control panel so you can do your lights, your generator, the televator. So while you're laying in bed, you can work everything. You don't have to get out of there. All right, now into the bathroom. So we'll start with the washer and dryer. There you go. And again, this, these are a Whirlpool set of washer and dryer. It'd be something like what you'd have at home. They work great. Uh, they spare no expense in quality uh, with all the items that they have in this coach. Okay, As you can see the shower. It's a beautiful shower, good tile work. And you've got a couple options here. You have the rain shower top there and you have the wand that you can use. And it also has a feature that allows you to let the water get hot uh, before you start to use it so that you're not wasting fresh water, you're not filling your gray tank. Uh, when that button there turns a certain color, then you know it's ready. And then you turn it on, and so it, it's hot instantly when it comes out of there, so you're not wasting it and filling your gray tank. Um, here's a double sink here. And again, kind of hidden here is a medicine cabinet, and there's an outlet right there. Another control panel for your lighting. This is an access panel for the back of the washer and dryer, just to make it easy to get to if you ever have to do any work on it. The water valves are right there. And here is your master closet here, your walk-in closet. It's got a safe, some shelves on this side, and I'll move so you can check that out. Yeah, my shirt's in there. In case you're wondering, that's what I was wearing before my video. That's more my normal attire. Here's your the toilet and your escape door. So Newmar started adding the escape doors on all their coaches. Really good feature um, in case you can't get out the, the, the front door. Uh, or again, if you're making some memories, I can see myself playing hide and seek with my kiddos and I would sneak out the back door and they'd never find me. So again, going back to making memories, it's really important. Watch your step right here. Here's the other motion sensor that I was talking about for the courtesy lights. So in the bedroom. Again, if I get up in the middle of the night, I'm going to the kitchen to get a snack. There they are right there. It turns those on so I don't stub my toe. Uh, this coach has, um, so like I said, 200 gallons of fuel, 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of the gray tank is 80 gallons, and then the black tank is 60 gallons. So again, at 200 gallons, you can be on the road a long time. Uh, you don't have to be pulling over, although you eventually do have to stop. Um, I think I've hit pretty much uh, all the features. Again, I don't, I didn't want to get too much into the, the technical stuff. I want you to really look at this coach and ask yourself how you can make memories. Uh, whether it's this coach or a, a class C or a class B, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you're making memories uh, because those will last a lifetime. Um, especially nowadays with the COVID going on, everybody's, a lot of people are having a hard time and I think uh, we can all think back to a certain time, certain memories uh, that make us feel good. So that's very important and let's continue to make those memories. Thank you guys, I appreciate you guys checking in on me. <laughs> uh, my cell phone is 720-276-4241 in case you want to give me a call, text. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to do a video on, I would more than gladly do it for you. 
Uh, my email is adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, dot Chavaria, C-H-A-V-A-R-R-I-A, at transwest.com. Uh, si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Back to work.